<laughs> that was a really comical ending, but it was off camera, so that was just for me. So usually with New Year's resolutions, you change like one big thing that changes your life for the new year. But it's quite a lot of pressure to put on yourself after you've come out of a season of sleeping and eating everything. So I switched mine up a bit, and instead of doing a couple of big resolutions, I've got a list of smaller resolutions, like smaller things that I want to be doing or at least have gotten done by the end of the year. Kind of like a 2016 bucket list. Number one, I want to make puff pastry from scratch. Context. I'm really into baking and I bake a lot of cakes, uh, biscuits and pies, um, but I haven't done anything like really adventurous. Okay, already in the first five seconds of this video I've labelled puff pastry as something to be seen as adventurous just stick with me. The reason why this is on my list is because every time that I use a puff pastry brought from the store which you just roll out and whack in the oven and basically done, I feel like I can't really take credit for the cool things that I make with it. The reason why puff pastry and not any other pastry is because from very reliable sources such as Great British Bake Off it's incredibly hard to do uh, because you need to get the layers and the butter right or something and then you've got to chill it at the right times or I don't know. I remember it being very stressful so that's what I wanted. I wanted some more stress in 2016 so I decided to make a really hard pastry. So we'll see how this goes. The second thing on my list is to do a proper pull up. Again we're getting quite specific but that's the whole point in this list. I want to be able to check things off. The reason why this is on my list is because I exercise a lot. It's not anything new for me to you know put exercising as a new year's resolution. I always feel like I should be able to lift my own body weight. I'm five foot tall and like eight stone. I should be able to lift that, that's not a lot. Um, also, I usually think of things like how would I escape a zombie apocalypse or what if I need to like, you know, get out of a hostage situation, I need to like climb into vents and for lots of these scenarios being able to lift my own body weight comes into play quite often. It's kind of more a preparation tactic to do a pull up. This is all getting a bit strange. I haven't scripted this video so you're getting a lot of what sits in my head most days. Number three is film YouTube series. So as you're very well aware, uh, if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while or if you're new, here's a good time to learn. Um, I'm really bad at uploading regularly. What also happens is that I come up with different themes for series quite often. So one of my 2016 bucket list items is to get at least one of those series running reasonably regularly. All of these are videos that I've been sitting on and not putting out. I can't remember what number we're on anymore, um, so next list item. I was massively into dance uh, when I was still at school and I took it on for a year and a bit at uni uh, then it wasn't quite the same class I was used to so I stopped doing that and then I took it up again recently in London but then I moved. So for 2016 I want to take up dance classes again and keep at it and do a show. I've tried a couple of dance classes in Bristol and I wasn't entirely confident with them. Actually what I might do this year is to try some dance classes classes that I've never done before. I've been thinking about swing quite a lot because I was at a festival and they'd hired some dancers to dance along with the band playing swing music and it just looked really fun and brilliant and like you could just like do it whenever so that's definitely something I wanted to try. Also pole dancing, I've done that once before and it was just really hard on my arms but now that I'm a little bit stronger and coinciding with the pull up situation I think that would be a good thing to do as well. So more professional dance in 2016 less arm flailing when I'm drunk. That's basically what I'm gonna aim to do this year. Um, it would be great to know what you guys are all doing or if you've got like one big resolution which I always find yeah way too daunting or if you've got like little things like this in a list um, I'd love to know so put them in the comments. One big ticket item which wasn't mentioned in the above but I'm just gonna say now to make myself do it is there will definitely be more regular videos. <laughs> I say this every time, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, that's it, wish me luck. I wish you luck on anything you're doing in 2016. If you've chosen not to do anything new, then that is also good. Kudos to fighting everyone's wishes for you to change in some way. I can't do outros, so I've just started like walking away from the camera, which is what I'm gonna do now if I can get up. Goodbye.